What's up, everybody? Hi. Hi. How's it going? So today is opening night of the NFL, which is a very, very important day to football fans. And we're all rooting against the Rams. Um, I guess Queen Elizabeth passed away today. Uh, so there's that, too. I don't know anything about her. I heard some stuff. I'm not going to bash or anything like that. So, you know. But more importantly, the NFL season is upon us. And um, how are you gentlemen doing tonight? I am good. I am cooking a celebratory dinner. My girlfriend just got some pretty good news in the next little step of her little career here with her optometry. So super hyped. So I'm not going to be here long. Mm -hmm. She's coming to say hi. Give you my early ratings and then I'm out. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to drop the intro real quick. Jill, man, it's been a minute. How you been? How you doing? I know you got some beautiful princesses now, twin princesses. Yeah, two hey, hey. new little horror fanatics in training. That's nice. That's what I love to hear. Happy for you, man. Congratulations again. Yeah, Happy I appreciate it. But let me drop this intro and get into our ratings and get into this review. Let's do this, guys. Let's slice and dice this movie. This movie, Prey. It's on Hulu. A couple weeks late, but I'm still joining the party. I'm still joining the party. With that said, though, guys, you got to remember this. You have to remember, I'm smarter than a beaver. And if they bleed, you can kill it. I just want to throw that out there. I just wanted to let you guys know. Oh. And... And, 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 and. I cannot forget this. Welcome to episode 327. For Research 30. Pray. Movie review. How do we feel about this? How does myself and the homies feel about this? We're going to find out. As soon as I shut up, we're all going to start talking again. Welcome to the madness. Yeah. So jumping right into it, Chris, because I know you said, you know, you have important things to do. What is your rating? And you can even give your reasons because you're not staying long. I didn't mind it. I didn't think it was the worst. I didn't think it was the best. Uh, This one kind of falls right in the like seven range for me. Okay. Definitely surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be, especially since it was just like a Hulu stream. I I didn't, oh, go ahead. Now nah, you're good. I didn't, I didn't know some of the little kickbacks, like with the little pistol and stuff like that, that they, they showed and stuff like that. Uh-oh, I think he froze. He froze. Well, while he's frozen, Gio, what's your, what's your uh, rating for this movie? I give it a 10. A 10? Yep. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it an eight. And my reason for it, honestly, I did enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but I don't know like I don't know the whole story too well. I've only seen I've seen one alien I know this is an alien, but I've seen one alien I think I've seen the original I know I've seen the original alien movie. And then I seen one of the Alien vs. Predator movies, and that's as far as I you know what I mean? So I really don't know the back I don't know the whole story to the Predator movie but watching this film it was a good film it was a good fun movie i had a good time with the movie and like when it got fucking there to those intense points those intense parts and those action parts it did not disappoint i feel like i may have liked this enjoy i I would probably enjoy this more if i knew the whole story like if i went through and watched all the movies and all that to kind of because i'm sure there was things in this movie that you picked up on picked up on and others that have seen this movie picked up on but know the whole, you know what I mean? Know the whole Predator stuff. So, yeah. So what did you, is there, is there things you've picked up on with this movie from? Um, to me, I would guess since this is like the prequel of basically everything. So I know in one of the movies, they go to one particular part where they're just hunting humans. Mm. And that's basically kind of what it felt like in this one, where it's like, okay, 
this is the beginning. It's just a trial run to see how can we hunt. Okay. Just for a game. Because that's what it that's what it was as to one of the other movies. It's it's a game to them to see how who can survive, what can you do, and how can you kill them. Okay, that makes. And sense. I think with this one, it was just like the very very beginning of it, especially with like how old it was, mm-hmm. time wise, but with the techno- technological with them. It was you could see how it was in the very beginning compared to what it was in the other movies. Okay, so there's so they were more technically advanced in the previous movies, but in the future, of course, than in this one. Which I I do I get that. I, which again, from watching the little bit that I have seen from the Alien vs Predator, it's like yeah, their weapons definitely got way better than what they were at that time. And I I liked first of all, I want to say this actually. The cinematography in this movie was amazing. Like the shots and all that. And it, it just, I love how, like, it really told kind of like a good story, like how you're building up. You see the main, you know, you see the main character here behind me. And just how she just wants to prove to everybody that she can hunt. And throughout the whole movie, she's building up and she's she's getting better, like, with her weapon how she tied the rope to it and all that, and they're making jokes on her about it, but you see what happens at the end of the movie, how that fucking (laughs) not only saved her life, but she beat the Predator. She outsmarted him. She just, well, she outsmarted the Predator. I don't know if it's male or female. She outsmarted the Predator and all this other stuff, but that, um, I don't think it's called the axe. I forgot what they call that, though. But the axe thing she had that she tied the little rope to came big, came into play real huge at the end of this movie. But in the last 15, 20 minutes of the movie, let's say. I like how it kind of connected with the other movies as well, where it's like easily the Predator could have killed them mm-hmm. in a matter of seconds. But it's the hunt, but also it's the respect that one gets, particularly if they're doing so well of surviving. Yeah. And that's what you kind of get with like some of the other movies too is, the respect from some of the predators because they can easily kill you but if they see that you're you're doing your thing and you're trying to survive and you're doing it better than most then they kind of like kind of continue it as a game to see how long they can stretch out the game of killing you Mm -hmm. or just leave you alone yeah i'm glad you mentioned that actually where you said just leave you alone part now from which, if you remember, when they hunt, are they usually going after one's people, whatever they're hunting? Are they going after, because in this room, how she was saying they didn't find her as a threat, so, well, the one didn't find her as a threat, so he's never going after her. Uh, James gave it an 8 out of 10. It's one of the best ones ever made, according to him. I'm going to put that down on the sheet, James. But to yeah, me, I, I, to me, I give it a ten because of like how visually perfect it looked, but yeah. also like how I was telling you when I first saw it, all the small little details that you saw within mm-hmm. the movie of not the killing itself, but like from the outside view of like when they were running through the through the grass area and you saw like just the little leaves like going slowly. Yeah, with the wind, it's like those little details. What I was looking at throughout that movie, they they de- they definitely did great with those little details. They definitely did great with the visuals, like we we're like I was saying earlier, with just how great and how clean this movie looked. Because they didn't make it, you know, a lot of times how they'll make an older movie. Like, yes, I understand they had the old weapons and all that, loved it. But you know, there's times where they have like the older movies and they'll have it look kind of grainy, you know, like kind of grainy and all this other stuff. And they for this they made it look how it needed to look because, you know, nature is amazing. Nature looks amazing. Nature is beautiful. And they made it look, you know, how I'm not saying that's exactly how it would look back in the day, of course, because I have no clue. We, none of us do, but you would imagine it would be something similar to that. You'd imagine, you know what I mean? To an extent, of course. And just how like the, the girl, for example, how, she, how much, again, how much she evolved from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie, how much she's learned, how much she grew. 
and I like how when she got the um, I like when when she got one of the predator's weapons. Remember when she picked it up next to when she was helping like, pulling the thing off the guy's leg after, after his foot got cut off, and she puts it to the side. She gets something else from him from the predator too so at some point. But I like I like I really like that because I'm just like yeah she's she's kind of like figuring things out now. I remember the story she told about um, when she was tied up to the tree with her brother. She drops that rock on the bear trap. But uh, during that, she was telling a story about how something was trapped underwater and chewed its own foot off to get out as she's telling that. And it was co- kind of cool. I know it was different, but it was cool how she goes back. I don't know if that stuff was quicksand or what the hell it was. The predator gets in there, but she's doing her whole thing with her, her axe thing. She ends up cutting its head off. And, like, I was just amazed by the action in this. I really was amazed by the action in this. Because they made it look so good, so well, so fun. With the way how the the Predator had, like, these advanced weapons. But he still wasn't, like, where they are. Let's just say in in, in modern times. Weapons are nowhere near that. Still way better than what everybody else had. And But she still found, like, a way to hunt to beat it she found a way to beat it with her with i mean mainly with her stuff yes she used the predators thing and i like how now my question to you is you know remember the part at the end where the predators in the stuff kind of like sinking and trapped and then those three dots come on it was that from one of the weapons that she took um i believe so because i know in some of the other movies they look a little different as well. Okay. Because most of the time it's in their, it's part of their armor, but it's like towards their wrist area, like their forearm. Yeah. Because I remember the thing was like, I think, actually, I think that the one with the beams was in the skull, wasn't it? In the skeleton thing? Yeah, they have that one as well. Cause so they so, have it in like two different, I believe in two different places. So that, okay, so then that's what it was. Because I remember how like when it came up and looked over, it seen the three dots and it looked over and it got shot right in the head. I was like, oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, that's right. It isn't the thing. The other one, it, it, it controls something else. Yeah, that, that, oh man, I'm just like, wow. And what I will say, what, what this movie made me want to do is go back. I'm not saying I will, I'm not saying when, but eventually I do want to go through these movies, I guess the alien movies as well. The alien vs. Predator, Predator movies, and alien movies. Because this was, this, this was entertaining. It was a good movie. But I would like to know now. It's like now I need to know more about these stories. Now I need to actually know it and understand it more, and kind of see more of it. And I just I don't know. I kind of wish I would have wa- watched those back in the day because again I think I would have had a, a better enjoyment of it. As far yeah, as the following I- day after watching it, I went to go watch uh, the first one because they have all of them on Hulu. Oh really? Good yeah. Enough. I'm gonna have to binge those then. But that first one is is a classic, so I had to watch. I had to rewatch that one again. Now, when you rewatch, okay, so would you? Is it is this a, is this a um a franchise to where let's say you start with Prey because it's a prequel, or you can say start with Prey. Let's just say that over the week. Well, you know, let's say Saturday you start with Prey. Is this good enough? Is this a good enough franchise for you? And I'm asking you because I haven't seen the whole franchise to go through it like in the order you're supposed to, I guess, starting with this and going through the rest of them? Um, you could, but, I mean, they do jump stories as well because you're not going to get, like, the same characters, the same Predator, the same storyline. So it kind of, like, jumps from different um, timelines. Okay. It doesn't so you'll care. probably have one, like, like how it is now in the prequel, but in the first one, I believe it was probably made for in either the 70s or 80s okay and then you have part two which was probably like late 80s okay. yeah it, late 80s and then when you have alien versus predator i think you have that in like the 2000s yeah yeah those I, there was a few of those too right like at least two of those alien versus predator. yeah two of them, mm-hmm. two of them. they see. could have could they could have continued on with it with how a lot of it um like how it progressed throughout the movie they might, I mean, 
as we've seen over the years, they love doing remakes, reboots, late sequels, late prequels. So you, know, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with another Alien vs Predator. Even if it went straight to streaming, I would not be surprised at all. Is it going to happen? We don't know, but you know. Excuse me. I'm gonna actually pull. Yeah, up that's the thing. thing. Everybody thought that this movie did really well enough to be in the theaters itself. I think it should have been like, again, going back to the cinematography, just just the visuals alone, not even like how good this movie was and all that. It's just the visuals alone would be awesome to see on the big screen. It'd be amazing to see on the big screen. But at the same time, I can kind of see why they they put it as this, because it's like if it doesn't do good in theaters, I'm not saying it wouldn't because I really feel like it would have. But if it doesn't do good in theaters, then it's, eh. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a tough call. <laughs> Would you put this in the top? Let's say the top three horror movies you've seen this year. I'll even I'll say the top three newer horror movies you've seen this year. Is it one of the top? Um, is it one of your top film? Or no, better yet, is it one of your top films? I won't even give you like a top three. For the year, yes. That's good. That's good. For me, I'd have to say, I'd have to say, because I'm, I'm, I'd have to say yes in a sense, but it doesn't feel like a horror movie to me at the same time. Yeah, I was gonna say like it's, I'll put this more into like a action thriller than a than a horror, horror but, movie. But I, yeah. it's just, it's see for me, it's, it's I can see why you could classify it as a horror movie. That's but I mean, it's it's like a horror. It's like kind of horror adjacent. I guess it's like a borderline horror. But if we call if we qualify as a horror movie, it's it's one of the better horror movies I've seen this year. Yeah, I guess you could say because it's the whole aspect of you know hunting for as yeah. a game. And I mean, and then the the all the gore and everything that that came with for like all the different type of killings. Well, you yeah that, and then I mean, just the predator alone, like the creature, because I guess. I mean, I don't know. People will probably argue this, but I don't know if you'd call it an alien or I don't. I don't. I don't know. Either way, creature feature in a sense. In a sense, it's just not like the. It's not like a pumpkin head type of deal or any other creatures where you know they're ripping you apart right away. But it's doing it. It's hunting in a different type of way, or it's killing in a different type of way, a smarter way. Way smarter. Way smarter. This shit can just disappear and come up on you and rip you apart. You seen what it did to that fucking bear? Rip that bear apart. Picked it up and just. Like it was nothing. I'm like, what the? F-? Like it was nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. One of these days, I am gonna have to. Well, maybe it'll take more than one day. Go through these films, though, just just because. I don't know if I'll go back and rewatch this. I might, but I definitely want to go through the other ones at the very least, just to kind of. Once you see the rest of the other movies, you'll probably see how, like this one in particular, this Predator was mm-hmm. probably in like the lower ranking. Oh yeah. As far as you mean as far as the predator itself. Oh, I hear him. <laughs> we can wrap this one up soon though, man. I know they got it. Let me spin the wheel. We'll talk a little more and then we can get going. Football's on anyway. But uh just the right wheel, yeah. Spinning the Phantom Festival for next Thursday. How's the how did the um backpack thing go? You still doing it? Or school started now? Um yeah, school started already. How did it, it go? Um, it went decent. It wasn't what I I had hoped to have happened, but I mean, I guess with everything that's happened with like the inflation and everything else, yeah. I guess it was just more of like a kind of like a die down year. You're gonna continue. But, though right or yeah yeah i have a couple more um booths lined up for the rest of the year just to try to see just to kind of like put my name out there that's good that's awesome man the byzantinium byzantinium i think i've heard of it you've heard of it yeah i haven't but that's what we're gonna be reviewing next thursday i just but no, if you go on Hulu and watch the rest of the movies, like you'll literally see like how it progresses and how 
um, the Predator itself, like, that was probably one of the lower ranking ones. See, and I, I like... If it was a higher ranking one, then it would probably decimate all of them. I, I, I like that, though, because it's like, again, how you were saying with with this movie, they kind of, this one kind of went there to basically to see what it can do. I'm assuming. See what it can match up as. See what it can do. And you can't be mad at that, of course. And you, it, it's you're glad it happens the way it did because it would be kind of dumb if it was stronger than all the other ones from all the movies. And this is from the past, technically, and those are all from the future. So it's like you should, if you're going backwards <laughs> with your weapons and shit, that's not that's not gonna help. It's not. And it was help. pretty, and it was pretty cool because you saw when you look at the other ones, this movie in general had different type of weapons that you've never seen. And just the way it was, was really badass in a way of like how everything mechanically just worked. I like that. I did like that. And just, I mean, it ripped the freaking snake apart. It just, it really fucked shit up. I was happy her dog didn't get killed by that damn thing, though. I was happy about that. I know the wolf got killed and the bear. I was like, you can't kill this girl's dog, man. Come on now. Come on now. I knew I knew something was gonna happen because there was there was a couple close calls, but I'm like, all right, man, don't 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 do this. Not now. Not now. After this. <laughs> and they didn't. And they didn't, man. Yeah, I believe in the first one, um, in the first couple of scenes, I think uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme was actually the Predator. Really? And then he had to step away because, yeah, he had to do other movies. Really? That's interesting. Yeah, same thing when it came to, um, I believe, in the first Mortal Kombat movie. He was supposed to be, he was supposed to be Scorpion. And then ended up going to somebody else because he was doing another movie. Ah, shit. Scorp. Oh, wow. Just because, I mean, he Which was... Which reminded me of the movie, like, in Prey, because the little girl throwing the little things. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then pulling it back. When she's throwing... Yo, when she was throwing that shit up against a tree and pulling it back, I was getting... Like, I know yeah, it's a movie, was smooth. like... Yo. If that would have been me... Throwing it, if it locks into the tree, do you guy yank it back? I'm dead after that. I'm dead or I'm hurt bad. <laughs> like I better just do that shit with something plastic. Practice. And it's the precision of just catching it too and not cutting your hand. Yo, fuck that. I'd rather be a gatherer than a hunter. I'll tell you that right now. You put me with the women making medicine and shit <laughs> and cooking the food up. I ain't going out there with this. Just this. You're gonna, you're gonna be one of the the peace pipes in the little tent. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I'm about to hit that peace pipe as soon as this episode's over. <laughs> oh man! But um, yeah, man. What's your what? Do you have any final ratings you want to say about this one? Just if you're a predator lover, this is a movie that you're gonna enjoy. Um, visually, visually beautiful. That's all Yo, I can say. Visually beautiful is just. You're not lying with that at all. I'm going to stick with my 8. I know you're going to stick with your 10. But it's it's definitely worth a watch. I'd even say it's worth more than a one-time watch. And again, like I said a little bit ago, this movie right here makes me want to watch the other Predator movies. I know they're going to be completely different. I know they probably won't look as good. I know there's going to be some cool shit in them, but I know they won't look as good visually just because technology is completely... Is a, hundred times better now than it was in the you know eighties, nineties, and even early in the early two thousands. Even in the past five, ten years. But uh with that said though, people, we're gonna wrap this one up. Let me pull up these uh where are they at? Overlays real quick, just to let you guys know. What's you gonna up? put the trailer on? What's going on? And so right here. Worst damn gamer, he was here. He had to go. He was doing something special with his lady, but he popped in for a few minutes. Shout out to him. Go check him out everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter. Check out his podcast as well. Worst damn gamer. 
and he does uh Fortnite Fridays every single Friday. I believe he starts at 10 o'clock Eastern time, so go check him out tomorrow on that. Dreams the Creator, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Check him out. He's the one who makes all these beautiful overlays and all that that you see us with. And there's going to be more to come, I'm sure. There's going to be more to come, so go check out Dreams the Creator. Any last words, check her out. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, as well as Patreon. She has an amazing magazine out. She's working on her next one. So good it's scary. Check him out. Listen to this. He has an awesome TikTok. Check him out on IG, Facebook, horror horror film creators. If you have a horror short that's 30 minutes or less, drop it on the So Good It's Scary page or hit me up and we will watch and review it live right on here. Come, You can hop on for an interview and also review whatever movie we're reviewing that night with us. Uh, let me hop over to this. As you guys know, Horror Research 30 every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Tune in, please. Also, go to horrorstarstudy.com. You can get all my links. Tomorrow night on um, Stream Lounge Watch Party is going to be Fear Street 1994 and Fear Street 78. I've never seen them before. They're Netflix. Stream Lounge is free. Again, links in the description. But Stream Lounge is free. You have to have Netflix to be able to join that watch party for those films. So please, if you can be there, be there. Check it out. It's a great, fun-ass time. Popcorn and Pints. We review two movies. We try to connect these two movies. This Saturday, we are doing Robin Hood, Men in Tights, and, 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 Revenge of the Nerds, which I've never seen Revenge of the Nerds before, so it'll be a first-time watch for me. I've seen Robin Hood, Men in Tights quite a few times, just not in years. So it's going to be a fun episode. You guys are going to want to tune in for that. Stories from a bar, everywhere you can listen to podcasts, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Check out Stories from a Bar. You're going to get some amazing brewery talk along with some artists on there now he has artists independent artists on there. you guys are gonna want to check that out find some new music all different genres and if you ever visit the capital region you know where to go to get a good beer that said though people thank you guys for watching and listening geo can you stay for like two minutes though after i end this oh yeah for sure thank you guys for watching listening have a great night i'll see you in nightmares peace make sure you guys go check out prey check out geo's amazing stuff third uso he is I believe him. He looks just like them. 